All right, guys, at the time of this recording, uh, it's still the very beginning of the fourth round at, at Pebble Beach on Sunday. Um, so we do have a guy in the mix, Bo Hostler. Maybe, you know, if he wins, we won't get to see cash that ticket, but I'll be okay with that. If he wins, this would be an all-time hit, man. Bo is one of, <laughs> one of the OGs of the pod. He is. <laughs> he, he's one of the worst golfers out there, too. <laughs> He is the prototypical lesbian gym teacher. And if he wins us a Pebble Beach ticket, I will be forever grateful to Bo Haas. God love him. Yeah, just a gym teacher, just uh, visor, tennis racket, Chicago shorts, hyped up her ass, <laughs> new balances. Uh, he got fucked, too. I mean, that, if they, they should have kept playing yesterday. He, uh, that was garbage. Fucking wind. They had problem on like two holes. We're going to fucking suspend it. What the fuck? I know. It makes no sense. And then to do a Monday finish for that, not to mention when you had so many guys here who were trying to play in the qualifier on Monday for Phoenix. Yeah. And that qualifier is like really hard to get into, right? Yeah. And they all just like withdrew, withdrew today. Yeah. So it's, it's the whole thing. They, they make the most fucking boneheaded decisions time after time. Yeah. I mean, Gotta let it play out. That's crazy. Crazy. I actually yeah. thought he was gonna be the leader going into uh because he had he had only a few holes left. I thought he was gonna be the leader, and then it calmed down after they sus suspended it for like 15 minutes this morning at Pebble. And then the sun was out. Yeah, it calmed down. I'm like, oh fuck, that sucks. We got fucked there. But hey, still got a shot. Hopefully, uh he can come through with us. Maybe a nice 65. That'd be great. That'd be great. It'd be a killer if Rose won. Yes, this. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing I'm rooting for is Bo to win. The second thing is for Rose not to win because that would be fucking awful. We've been on him for so long, just waiting to cash. But then this week, I mean, the odds weren't that great 28 or whatever for a guy who really hasn't sniffed a win in, since 2019. Yeah. But the event's absolutely blow. So what the fuck? Yeah. I mean, this, I, I hate this event. It's awful. Like, it's terrible. These rounds were like seven, eight hours long. Oh, yeah. Bo saw our guy die. <laughs> yeah, I thought that might have revitalized him. Um, you know, I it kind of char recharged his batteries. At the time, I know he didn't really want to play. <laughs> he wanted to go home. Um, but he kept playing, and he started to play really well. Uh, and then he – is it the same day? No, it was the next day, right? Yeah. Next day, yeah. Just needed a, a little night of sleep on it. I had no idea what was going on. I'm like, I'm just tracking Bo. He's been in the 11th fairway for three hours. He probably went home and he just felt so grateful that he was that, you know, he, he had another chance at life. He, sometimes I can change your perspective. And he's like, I got to win one of these tournaments. Maybe we should send Bill Murray out there today. Maybe he can fucking die. Just stand up there with a fucking golf club, <laughs> holding it in the air, yeah, waiting right. for lightning. Maybe Bo will get a nice spark off Bill Murray's death. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the event is awful. I mean, I don't get why you can't just have like a real Pebble Beach event. Yeah, right. Why can't we just play four rounds at Pebble Beach? Yeah, it makes no sense. Like, um, and you get, uh, you know, you could have like a smaller field because the daylight, you know, is short there. And these other California courses, they have rotation. So, yeah. But you could do it another time of the year, right? Yeah, they want to stay with the California Spring. We're going to do a two course event. Yeah, like Tory Pines. Yeah, that'd be fine. Anyways, I'm glad this event is pretty much almost over. Are we going to listen to a question here? Uh, it won't be relevant when the time, but I'll send I'll send them the answer now. It won't be relevant by the time that comes out. But I guess I'll just ask you. Um, who's the best chance, Rose, Kitty, Yama, Hovland, or Mitchell? Um, what's Hovland? Nine. Yeah. I'm gonna say Rose. Yeah, probably fucking Rose, man. Ugh. Not Kiyama. You know Mitch Mitch Mitchell's strong too. But then you know you had Rose in the Monterey Peninsula course. Right. So he kind of you know, he got lucky as shit, just the way everything shaked out. Yeah. I'm gonna say Mitchell. Mitchell then. Mitchell. Okay. If it has to be one of those three, I'm room for Vic. I, I use them in a one and done. So, 
Actually, I'm not sure I want that because then his odds will be slashed. I know. I want nobody. I want Bo. (laughs) Yeah, Bo. Bo can do this. If if he's going to win, it wasn't going to be from the lead. Right. So I I wish there were just less guys between 9 and 12. That's all. Yep. And it really looked like there was going to be for a long time. But, hey, what are you going to do? Um, all right. Uh, waste. We get we get early odds. Um, and I was, I'm was i really busy tomorrow on Monday, so that worked out really well um, that the odds were out and we could um, actually talk about the field and stuff this week because DraftKings posted the odds early. Uh, and they all look pretty legit. I mean, maybe they change a little bit. I think if Hovland wins, yeah, that's going to change it. He's listed at 35 right now. I don't think he was at 35. Um, but other than that, I think it's going to be pretty uh, It already much... moved. It already moved. It's 30. Hovland's 30 now? Things. Yeah. Okay. okay. So maybe these are legit. I think they are. I was just why... surprised at a couple of them. Yeah, but why would they change them on Saturday just to change them again on Monday, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope they're true. because I, I like them. A couple guys I really like. It should be. Good odds. I mean, we haven't got good odds yet, but I think this event, like, they want people betting on it. It's a big event, Super Bowl week, and I think, you know, they're they're welcoming welcoming some action here. Yeah, this event is all uh, awesome. Um, this is, even like before it became it's an elevated event. Like this, this event was just incredible. Mm-hmm. Like it always brought the drama. Good. Like, I feel like we get a playoff every year. We hit the yeah. Ricky one. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember one year I had Benny Ann. Decky came back and stormed him. Um, that we hit Brooks. Yeah, oh yeah, and the Brooks one that was great. That Chip Brooks in. one was incredible, and then we we fucking rolled it right into the fucking Bucks winning the Super Bowl. Oh my had a god! Nice ticket on that. I won fucking so much money that day. It was fucking awesome. That was the most money I've ever won in a day. We had Gronk first <laughs> touchdown. Yeah, we did. I forgot we bet that fucking like a week in advance too. <laughs> yeah, Gronk first touchdown twenty to one. Um, we had. The Bucks to win the Super Bowl thirty-five to one, and yeah. Brooks to win Waste fifty to one. All happened in one day. Yeah, man, that chip in was fucking awesome. I jumped out of my seat. That was incredible. Oh, so good. That was uh, the best. Um, so yeah, we've always we've had good luck here, and we've had just great finishes and great events. So, um, I and I played this course uh, last uh, last March. How was it? It was great. Uh, it wasn't 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 the best course we played out there. Um, I'd actually say it's probably the, it was probably the third best course we played out there. But it was nice. Uh, greens were really really fast. Rough wasn't entirely long. It looks way different when the stands aren't up. Um, yeah, like sixteen's like you can't even notice it like w- without that stadium. Um, and same with seventeen, the drivable par four. Like it's so different. Uh, right. But yeah, it's uh. You know, they say it's Bermuda greens, but I didn't get a Bermuda feel. Like, I've played on Bermuda uh, greens before. I, I, they I felt more like – the greens kind of felt more like up north here, like bent-type greens to me. Yeah, well, I wrote that too. It's like more of a mix. It's not really um, Bermuda. It's just like a mix of everything that can survive this time of year. Yeah. But, yeah, the greens were really, really fast. Really, really fast. And I imagine – I mean, I think they're known for being one of the fastest – on tour right yeah they're pretty yeah firm and fast um that's that's i'll give you a little course breaks down here um it's an elevated event so we got you know that's how we have it's always a great field and always no it's always a good field like and it's always a field that produces good finishes and good players at the top so it's not like you know you needed like the very best of the best to make it a good event it was a really good event anyway but now it is the best of the best 20 million dollar prize pool you got every everybody 22 of the top 25 in the world who are the three that aren't do you know? Well, Cam. Yep. Um, Willie Z's not playing. Yep. Um, there was one other guy. I don't know. Where's Burger? Burger's not in there, right? Okay, yeah. I don't is know. He's still the in the top twenty-five. Is. No, he's not. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not sure who the other guy is. Must be a live guy. Is it answering the top twenty-five now? Yeah, it could be. Well, he should be after that win, but. Um, if that really matters, but either way, it's a par 71, 7,261 yards. Um, oh, it's probably like, Scott, right? Seen the top 25? No, well, he's not here. Okay. 
Um, past winners, you had Scheffler last year at 22 under. You had Kepka in, in 2021 at 19 under. You had Webb Simpson in 2020 at 17 under. He beat uh, Finau in a playoff. You had Ricky at 17 under in 2019. So we were on two of the last four winners here. Uh, Woodland in 2018, Decky in 17 and 16, and Brooks in 2015. So you get some repeat winners at this place. It's definitely a course history uh, type of event. Uh, approach is important. I think off the tee, it to be pretty good. It's not incredibly long, so you don't have to be hit it really far, but it does help. Um, putting on firm and fast greens. Greens and reg gained has been a really indicator of winners here for, for whatever reason. Opportunities gained I got, and I know you like uh, par five scoring as well. Yep, for sure. Um, just getting back to the who's the third guys, Neiman. Oh, yeah, third. yeah, yeah. Yeah, par five. I feel like uh, they're longer par fives, but like they're gettable. Like, especially get you can get there too. Um, and they're yeah. very tricky. Like the one uh, on the front nine there, you have to go over the uh, like the, the pebbles um, and the green's elevated and it's kind of two tiered green. That's very tricky. And then the one on the back nine. Real nice stretch of holes there on the back nine. You got 15, which is the par five. It's kind of like an island green type. Um, that was actually my favorite hole that we played um, when, when I played there. So, but you can, they can get there in two. Uh, and it's surround, the green surrounded by water. Um, and then obviously kind of an indicator there is also 17, which is the drivable par four, which is a nice Great uh, hole. Great hole, yeah. Great risk reward hole. Had a nice birdie putt on that on that hole. You made it? No, missed it. But it was uh probably had a twelve footer. You had a nice birdie look. You didn't have a nice birdie. Birdie putt. look. Sorry, I didn't make it. Birdie look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you didn't make it. How long was it? Twenty? It was like 10, 12 feet. Yeah. No, that's usually in your wheelhouse. I know, I know. Um yeah, so I expect this this to go down to the wire again this year. Um, and it's probably going to be a top guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, top, like a top 15 guy, right? This is a great, I mean, we're not we getting a long shot. No. And we typically do really well with uh, these events, better events. We do better in like, uh, but you know, besides like Shriners and, and, Windham or whatever you had some wins but like other than that it's usually been the bigger events and like because you can real and i think this is a perfect place to do it just nail down that like 20 to 40 range get all the best players in there take a multiple of them yeah yeah i don't uh, see it i don't see a winner coming from the 50 plus range no i don't either um well, there are there are a couple guys that are definitely capable yeah you gotta be a certain type of guy though right yeah it's not going to be a. Uh, it's guys. It's guys who odds have drifted. Who are usually in the the twenty to forty range. Yeah. Um. All right. So, we're getting to the odds, I guess. Yep. So we got uh, it's first time these two uh these two big guns have been in the an event, um, together for um, uh, and were they in the fall swing together? Maybe. Um. But Ron plus six fifty. Rory, plus eight hundred. You want to go to the next two or you want to talk about the two big guys? Talk about those guys. I mean, I think both of them have a real good chance to win. I think I can see Rory maybe winning here more than Rom right now. I feel like T to green wise, yes. Right? Yeah. I don't think Rom is fully Rom T to green yet. No, it's a good setup for Rory too. Like, I remember there was a time, well, I think last year, a couple of years ago, we wanted to try to find a way to bet him because you think it's a really good course for him when he wasn't playing as well. Yep. He finished but, 13th his one time here. Rom has never him, right? finished. Rom has never finished worse than 16th in uh, seven tries. What's his? Oh, geez. What's his best? His best was actually the first time he played as an amateur. He was fifth. Uh, he was 10th last year. Ninth, 10th, 13th, 11th. He's always he's always right around the top 10. Wow. So between fifth and 16th, seven consecutive times. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, he practices down the street. Um, obviously, played here a bunch of times, went to Arizona State. So, I mean, those guys usually succeed here. Wow. Interesting. This is the event Phil won as an amateur. He yeah. went to Arizona State. So, wow. So, yeah, those two guys are going to be tough to beat, I think. 
Definitely, definitely. But we're not betting them, so no. If you, if you want to bet them, try to try to get them uh, live. But here it's like the good players that aren't the favorites have really done well. Yeah. Yes. Like every year, it's like the guy, like not that it's ten to one or twelve to one guy. It's like that next tier. You get all those winners. Yeah. Besides that decky year when he came in, I don't know, ten to one. But that's when the field wasn't as good as it is now. Yeah. When he went back to back. So um, next two after them, uh, two at eleven to one. You got uh, Xander and uh, Scheffler, defending champ. Yeah, I think Xander could win here. Definitely, definitely. He has great history here. What's his history look like? Uh, last, so he's third last year, second the year before, sixteenth, tenth, seventeenth. So five times, never worse than seventeenth. Wow. Last two times in the top three. Jeez. He was there when, remember when Brooks uh, won and Spieth was going ham? Yep. He was the uh, he was the 54 leader, and he kind of gagged it early on on Sunday. And who else was there? James Hahn? Jimmy Hahn was there and uh, Cage, Cage Lee. Lee. Yep. Yeah, I do remember that very well. Um, all right. X is, yeah. I mean, if he was 18 to 1, I'd probably be a bet, don't you think? Definitely be a bet. He'd be he'd be definitely. I mean, can't was switched. I'd be I'd be on X definitely. And what is he? Twelve. Uh, DraftKings eleven. Yeah, can't bet it. Can't bet it. Yep, and we'll ignore Scheffler, defending champ, and I just don't think he's gonna win. No, not putting well. So, TD Green wise, he's been the same guy. He's not doesn't have it with the flat stick. Uh, next next range we got um. Big jump up, Max sixteen to one. <laughs> Surprised by that? Yeah, yeah, I am a little bit. I thought he'd at least be like twenty two, even though he would just won. Yeah, I was surprised by that too. But hey, I'll take it as I had no interest. Yep. Uh, JT sixteen, Cantlay eighteen. Those three are the, uh, only guys below twenty. JT's a guy we always said is going to win here. Yeah, we bet him last year, I think. Yeah, I bet him a lot here. He's got great history too. Eighth, thirteenth, third, third, last four times. Jeez. Eighth, eighth, fifteenth, third, third. Eighth, thirteenth, third, third. Wow. He was third that year, uh, Ricky won. Yep, I do remember that. That was a wild one. Um JT, but he's just not in the best of form, is he? Like, what has he been doing? He finished twenty fifth at the farmers. Uh wasn't as bad as you thought. 3.2 on approach still. 25th at Century. I don't know. JT or Cantley? I'll do it. JT or Cantley? You got to pick one. I don't know. I like both. I like. I do like both. I think both could win. I. Man, the good players just win this event and play well at this event every time. Yeah. There's like no top guy with bad course history here. <clears throat> nope. Uh, if I had to pick, I I think I would say JT. I guess you're not gonna bet these guys. I don't think so. Can't lay. His first time he's ever played here, he finished. He lost in the playoff. Yeah, I was shocked by that last year. Was that last year? He lost to Scheffler in a playoff. Yeah, it was like going down the stretch. It was Scheffler X, JT. No, not JT. Scheffler, X, Cantlay, Brooks. They were all right there. Brooks and Sahith. And Sahith. Yes, I do remember Sahith. Um, Sahith and Brooks just missed out on the playoff. Wow. Same with X. Great finishes here, man. Awesome. Yeah, every year. Remember the Webb Tony one? Yes. Tony was wearing a Kobe jersey, wasn't he? Or the 17th. <laughs> That was before Tony could win. He's just a loser. And Webb beat him in a playoff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, Webb hit the little left or right or uphill. Yeah. I remember that. He put the same putt in regulation and, and in the playoff. Yeah, fun fact about that uh, 18th hole. Uh, last year, uh, we had a little Ryder Cup match, and it uh, came down to me versus my brother on the 18th hole. And uh, I had a two putt from about, uh, I don't know, 120 feet. Really? Put the putt to, like, Three, three, uh, like three inches. Literally, I thought it was in. <laughs> Jesus. 
to beat him in the match, and we ended up tying overall. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, that, that was a very fun course. Very Does it seem like course. insanely long when you're playing it or like not, not crazy? I didn't think it would seem too crazy long at all. And I didn't like off the tee wise, it, the rough wasn't bad. No, I thought, it. no, I thought the greens were tough. Yeah. They were fast. Huh. Seemed easy to hit the fairway though. Yeah, true. I mean, no. so do you, do you think, do you have any interest in betting? JT or Cantlay or anyone below this? I like JT better than Cantlay just because the spot, I I, I think JT's just going to win this event at some point. Right? Cantlay Cantlay might too, though, right? Yeah, just JT's more like vibrant, you know? He has more emotion. I just feel like this is the type of event like JT can get behind, whereas Cantlay's just meh. Yeah, Big dump in his pants, you know? Yeah, it does. I I, <laughs> I could see either of them winning, but I do agree. I yeah, I slightly lean JT. We've been betting them every year, so I just think um, he could win. But I I just think I wouldn't bet games. it unless it's twenty though. Same, same. So uh, next next guys, we got uh, Fitz twenty two, uh, Finau twenty five, Morikawa twenty five, Hideki twenty eight, Tom Kim twenty eight. That's the range below thirty. Hideki Finau. Okay, well, a lot of good nuts. Fits. No, he did not play well this week. He said he was hurt. Then he goes out here and he's plus five at the Pebble Beach, an event that he should play well at. He has played well that, so I don't think you can go go to him at all. What is his injury? Neck. Neck? Okay. Yeah, like it's just a tweak in his neck. Like he can't swing full speed. Yeah. Um, so a lot of interest in these, a lot of these guys, I mean, Fino, I guess we'll start there at 25 to one. I thought was a really generous number considering he's been like, you know, one of the top three or four favorites in every event so far. And there's a place where he lost in a playoff, but then looking more into it, I noticed he has played here five times. He missed the cut four. I know. Or his last five times, missed the cut four and he finished in the second, in the playoff. So was that year just an anomaly? It's weird. Cause he practices out of here. Um, the caddies were telling us all about if he now is here like every day. Um, so you'd think he'd be amazing, but yeah, that shocked me as well. But I, I, the 25 shocked me. Like he's been like 12, 14, every event. I know. Which is just not a bettable number for Tony fee now, but why is he 25? He's not, he's playing well every, every week. Ninth at the farmer, 16th at American express, seventh at century. He's doing everything well, approach wise, well, T to green, well. well I, I'm confused. Yeah, it's it's a very weird situation because I'm uh, like you. I'm very confused at the number, and I'm also very confused at the course history. Like I don't know what is. Just a lot of weird factors into this one. And he ranked well in the model that I ran. Yeah, he's first right? in mine. He's first, and you'll see he's top ten in mine. Makes a ton of birds. Yeah, he could definitely win. The home cook, the home cooking factor of why he isn't good, why he hasn't been good here. Maybe, but he did. He did get to a playoff, so he's got to be kind of good. All right, he probably should have won that, right? Yeah. And now he's won since, so he's probably not going to be as big of a loser if he has a chance. Yep. So there's that one, and then I was shocked by the Morikawa number. I know. Second and third to start the season. Last week, his irons were back. How do we not bet that? That's really all I care about with Colin. Just those irons are back. And let's see, what did he gain? Six point something? 6.7. Yeah, that's kind of getting to that prime Colin there. He was, uh, yeah, 6.7, finished third. Um, Let's see. He's played here once. That was in 2020, so three years ago. 25th. That was must have been when he was a rookie. It's kind of funny when he was at, um, not funny, but when, so if he gained 7.5 on approach of the Genesis in 2021, lost 7.6 putting the next week he won, um, at Murfield village, we had him there. And then, so it's like the week he definitely shows it coming for the most part. Or was it, no, we had him at the work day. That's right. Um, what was 21 in WC Mexico? Yeah. 
concession. 7.5 the week before. Then he fucking fucked ass the next week. 9.6. Concession. Yeah, that's right. Remember we had we had the top three. Yeah, that was fucked. <laughs> Him, Brooks, Brooks, and Vic. And Vic. Yep. Vic probably should have won, to be honest with you. That was when remember, he hit it. Remember in the he bush. made that yeah, he made that eight. <laughs> he tried to hit it out of the bush instead of taking a drop. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> So how do I mean? What the fuck? How do we not bet the twenty five? Do you do, do you like uh, Morikawa? Yeah, I do. I think I like him more than Fina, right? Has he? I do. I do. Has he played here much? Once. Once. Twenty fifth. That was he didn't play the last two years. I can picture him like getting into it with a crowd and all that stuff too. Yeah, it's just... like a young popular guy. Second and third. I, I... I don't see how we don't bet him. We haven't been on him in a while. There's a lot you of elections. You have been definitely. A lot of election deniers in Arizona, though. He might he might not like that. <laughs> oh man, no comment. Um, yeah. So I do like Colin. I think 25 is a great number. I think it's a must bet number. 25. She's showing flash with the irons. It's just too good to pass up. I I would 100 percent bet a 25 on him. Fina, I'm on the fence. Could yep. bet both, though, definitely. No problem. Right. Okay. And then uh, and the, these next two guys, are these, the two Asians. I mean, Hideki, like, this is his course. This is, like, he's won this course. He's won at this event twice. Eighth last year. He's got a fourth, a second. Um, yeah. I mean, 28, that, that's a good number. It's a great number for, I mean, he's usually 16, even in good. I remember like be coming in here in bad form and he's 16. We're like, oh, we want to bet Hideki, but how the fuck would have been a 16 to one? Yeah. So I'll bet a 28. We were on him uh, at Farmers and he, you know, I said I thought he could win and he almost did. Yeah, he did a lot of it with a putter, especially on Sunday. Yeah, but he's just a winner. Yeah. I just, I don't give a fuck what he did. He's, if he's playing well, he's playing. He, I like the fact that he, let me put it this way. I'm not. Cons- I'm more happy about the fact that he sniffed some contention, getting back the rust off and all that shit, rather than him not playing com- exactly well, like the best he has with the irons. Because he did it. He did it, Sony. So he's he he has it going a little bit. Yeah. Where's he ranking uh, firm and fast putting? Let's see. Um, while I'm looking that up, just Hideki, like, and he finished eighth at um, Farmers, but it was, I feel like it was better than that. Like, because you know what I like about Hideki when he's in the mix, he's going for the win. He doesn't give a fuck about a top five. Right. He went in the water, I think, on 18, right? Yeah, he was going for it. Uh, Knew he had to try to make an eagle, so whatever. Gained across the board. Fucked my drafting lineup, but that's all right. Um, (laughs) Him and Day. Let's see. Becky's 55th on firm and fast putting. Not bad for him. Not bad at 142. Um, and then you get the other agent, Tom Kim, who's like, I feel like this is a good setup for him. I don't love first timers here, but I mean, he's doing nothing wrong. No. Nothing wrong. I mean, his stat, stat wise, he is fourth and really good, man. Oh, really good. Second in approach, fourth in opportunities gained. Yeah, he's just really good player, T. Green. And when he, when he gets the flat stick going, pretty much unbeatable. Firm and fast, he's 133rd. Okay. I mean, there's Who not knows much. how many rounds he has, but. Yeah, I mean, there's literally like 15 events on his Fantasy National. Yeah, I, I, I do um, I do like him, but I like the other one better. Decky? No. Oh, yeah, coming up. Me too. Yeah, okay. me too. <laughs> I, that could be a conundrum, though. The other one. That's, that is not, that's not racist either, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know. That could be in a conundrum if we bet two. We might have to bet three. All right. Uh, <laughs> James Hahn. He's cheaper. <laughs> All right. So then we get to the 30, 30 range. You got uh, Vic at 30, um, Spieth 35, Sanjay 35, Cam Young off a of second in, in Saudi 35, and uh, Jason Day 40. Those are the only players under 50. Okay, that number might change, I thought, the young one. But it's, it is a good sign that it looks seems real because it was 45, now it's 35, right? Yeah. 
I I'm not interested in Young. Yeah, I'm not either. Um, but so these odds do seem real to me. So Cam, um, no. Sung Jay's the guy I really like a lot here. For sure. Don't you? Yep. Um, got a he, seventh, 34th, 17th here. Yeah, real so pretty good history. Um, and I just like what he did last week on with the irons. Fucking fucked. They were hot. Seven. Seven on approach, five point five putting. It's good, good around the green. Um, you know, he could win. He's like a in the Webb Simpson mold. So the only problem is you say he can win. That's been my issue with Sun. Mm -hmm. Like, do you ever feel like he has like that it fact? Like, I'm gonna go fucking win it. No, I feel but... like he always he's always just hanging there, you know, you know, and he's he never makes that putt to like put him over the top. Hey, with Shriners, Sunday sixty two. Yeah, that was when two years ago, twenty twenty one. And then Honda, but those those aren't like big events. No. He beat Wolf, Leishman, Hadwin, Louie. Yeah, and then Honda. Honda was a tough event, but there wasn't like a huge I think he beat Norin. Yeah, so he hasn't he no, he hasn't beat the studs out, but he I love the number and I'm I'm gonna bet Sung Jay. Definitely. Um it's just I, I worry like second of the just, masters. He's kind of just always there, but do you ever feel like he's ever going to win? No, you usually don't feel that way, but um, he's still only, he just turned 24. Yeah. He's like, man, he has a lot of seconds. He has five second place finishes. Even like when, uh, when Tom beat him at Wyndham, like Tom just went out and just like drilled every single putt. Like and Sung just kind of did his thing. I know. He didn't do well. No, he wasn't good. But I don't know. I think this could be a big year for him. The President's Cup, I thought he played pretty good. Yeah. Got anything else on him? I'm, I'm going to bet him. No, I don't really have much. I mean, I just think the seven on approach last week is pretty huge. Um, And his course history is good. And he won, he's won in a desert track. Yep. Is there a TBC Summerlin? I think there's a little bit of a crossover there. There is. Who's done well um, at both? Webb. Webb's won yep. both, I think. Cantley, obviously. Yep. Um, Laird. Wolf, Wolf always does. Mar Party Marty. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, they're both desert tracks, so I think uh, they're both TPC desert tracks. Yeah, you know who practices at Summerlin? Morikawa. Yep, that's right. So, all right. Sung Jay, any interest in um Oh, we got three Asians. More cow is an Asian. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we can't bet Tom. Yep. That's right. <laughs> oh shit. Um, yeah, and then nothing on day, right? 40. Does he have history here? No. He's playing great, man. I think he's gonna win something. I think. Should have played fucking Pebble. Yeah, I don't know. he probably said fuck that shit. Yeah, with the back. I actually don't blame him. That um, just sucks. And I think he wants to win something bigger. Like, he wins Pebble. Who Does anyone really care that much? Maybe he'll win API. They uh, missed the cut two years ago and then didn't play it. Prior to that, hadn't played it for six years. I would love to see Stenson at API again. Just one more one more go around. Yeah, I think those, those days are done, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sadly. Uh, okay, so nothing on day. Um, yeah, maybe day next week at Riv. Yeah. I don't know what his history is, but California. He's driving the ball really well. He is. His irons weren't that great, but he's, you know, he's putting it really well, too, in the West yeah, Coast. Yeah, that's, that's a huge sign. Like, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah. Let me see, yep. Riviera. Gen what's that called? Genesis. Yep. He missed the cut in 2020. 64th and 17th. Yeah, he's pretty... God awful here. At, not here at Genesis. Yeah. Yeah, so he's more I, of a Tory and Pebble guy. So we're in on Morikawa, Deki, Sungjae. Yeah. Make sure we don't bet KH Lee or Siwoo Kim. Yeah, I know. Or James Hahn. <laughs> All right. 50 plus. We got uh, 
Your favorite guy, Monty. He's at 50. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. Everyone bet him. Um, Don't stop now. Yeah. He stopped making putts last uh, at Tory, and look what happened. Um, so Heath, 50. Um, this number surprised me. Sam Burns, 55. Uh, we got McNeely, Hatton, 55. Hatton. So Hatton's been playing all right golf, I think. I don't know. 55 is a pretty good number on him. Same with Burns. No. It is, but I I hate Burns. I like Hatton. Hatton, yeah, he's not. Hatton played know. here once, 15th, four years ago. Pretty good. What's he been doing on the uh, European tour? Let's see. Go to the OWGR. The corrupt, crooked OWGR. Um, a lot of these Euro guys have been playing well. Hatton, Fleetwood, and uh, Lowry. Fleetwood's Lowry. playing? Yeah. that's This is the next range. Wow. Yes. Um, Fleetwood. Hatton's playing the worst out of the three, to be honest with you. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we bet Fleetwood for the player. Should we give that? We did? Yeah. I did. I think like I did too. <laughs> 60 to 1. Yeah, we did. Love it. Well, I kind of like him this week too. He loves Florida. Yeah. Um, Hatton T7 in Abu Dhabi. It's pretty good. A few weeks ago. And then 38th uh, in Dubai. Okay. Not bad. And then you have Fleetwood, who is 60 to 1. His results, um, 59th in Dubai and 38th in Abu Dhabi. So maybe, yeah, Patton's is playing better than him. And then you have Shane Lowry, who I thought I think is a great, great number, but he's never played here before. He split with his it's, caddy last week, too. He did. What's up with that? I don't know. Everyone that I talked to was really surprised about it, all those European guys. Yeah, he's 60 to 1. I thought that was a great number. I, I'm not going to bet him just because he hasn't played here. 60 is uh, bonkers. Crazy, right? He's usually 30. He's uh, actually, he's yeah, maybe uh, 28 at Abu Dhabi. Missed a cut at the Dubai. Yep. 23rd at the DP. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't Probably think I can bet win. these. Euro- I don't think I can bet these euros till we get to fucking Florida. Yeah, I agree. I, I hope they don't play well so we can get on all of them in Florida. Yeah. Uh, we didn't talk about Vic. What about Vic? Oh yeah, I did like him. Of course, history is weird though. What is it? Bad. Did he miss three cuts? Vic, 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 Vic. He's played here twice. Two missed cuts. Shouldn't he play well here? Yeah, that's what I don't get. He should play well here. You know what? He doesn't like fast greens. Yeah, that could be it. The greens this week I mean, are fast, though. No, they're slow. They're they slow. are. At least this week. Like, oh, because the they're wet. Yeah. They're supposed to be slow. They're usually fast. Yep. Yeah, we're just going to pass on them, right? Yeah, I think so. You still like him at the players? Yeah, I do. Yep. All He's right. Nothing like on it. nothing on Burns. Fifty five is a good number. I mean, if you wanted to bet it, I'd join you, but I'm not going to make the case. Yeah, he doesn't have. It's weird. He doesn't have good history here. Seems like a Burns event. Three does missed cuts in a twenty second. Does he win good field events? I guess you always ask me this. I guess he doesn't. No. He wins it. Yeah, he wins hard courses. And he's been pretty bad. I think he had a decent last start, right? Yeah, we'll just wait till Florida again. Fuck it. Yeah. All right. Anything on Tommy 60? No, I don't think he can win it, this. Seamus Power 65? No. Ricky Fowler 60. I don't like 60. I said about 80 a couple weeks ago, and I told everyone on dra- to do it when they had draft because I think 80 is a good number. 60 is tough. I think I would need at least 70. He's playing well, though. It's great. He's never played well at the Farmers. I know. 
I want him to be back so bad. Is it just a soccer bat, though? It's probably definitely a soccer bat at 60. 80, it's like whatever. I don't think I could do 60. Loves this place, though. Loves it. Loves it. Three top fives. You obviously want it. And so three it's, additional top fives? Three additional top fives, yep. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what? He Even when he was good, he never really won, so fuck it. Fuck it. We need an 80. Yeah. Maybe we get one. Um. All right. Some other guys here. I don't think anybody here is going to win. Uh, Keegan? I like Keegan. 65? What? What's his history like? No top 10s. I mean, usually makes the cut. He's playing well. I do think um, he could be pretty good. What was his Soon. stats? A lot. It was like a lot. He gained like seven strokes putting. See? Okay. Yeah, I guess but that's what he's been doing for a year and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the one, the one long odd I did like was uh, Con- Connors. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> At seventy to one, I just thought he didn't fit the seventy to one there. Keegan four and approach seven putting. Wow. Um, Con- Con- Connors stats wise, it's just it's it's always every week, but obviously it's probably not gonna win or contend so 4.4 and approach at sony lost 3.8 putting um history or anything 38th the, last year yeah i made the cut three times best finish 17th okay i don't think you can win this okay it's fair isn't that the number's fair the number's a good number though right yeah it is well wise no okay um I think Warren, Wise, he's not winning in the field like this. Uh, no. Billy Ho, 80. It's a good number, but it doesn't feel like a Billy Chorus, does it? I think he has good history. Sixth last year. Ninth in 2020. Has made the cut here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine yeah, out of he, ten. Nine out of ten times he's made the cut here. Wasn't he hurt though, or like something? He w- almost went home early at the Sony. Then he played anyway. No, he sucked. wasn't hurt. He said he wanted to go home and practice, and then uh, it was probably a sponsorship thing. And they they uh, kind of forced him to play. I think he was saying too his swing felt off or something. Yeah, and he wanted to go home to tinker yeah. with it. It's fine. He, it's fine. He's not going to win. Okay. And then the other one was uh, kind of like this number Henley. Yeah. 100. That's a good number. It's a good number. Um, Any interest? Henley. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Foreign approach at Sony. That's a, that's one of his spots. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he can win. No, I don't. But 100's a good number. Are you going to win an elevated event? I don't know. He's like the 25th best golfer in the event. <laughs> yeah. That's not saying much. You know who played well? In Saudi? Who? He was like 18 to 1. Kind of wanted to bet him. He finished third in Saudi. Brooks? Lucas Herbert. Is he playing? Yeah, he's playing this. 150 to 1 here. Wow, interesting. Uh, not winning though. Okay. Let me see. Uh, uh, so- I just want to read the course history real quick. Strokes gain total. I think that it, it does matter. Um, Decky's first. Fowler, JT, Sander, John Rom, Webb, Woodland, Laird, Cooch, Cantlay, Scheffler, Sungjae, Sahith, Norin, Steele, Homa, English, Fitz, Poston, JB Holmes, James Hahn. Yeah, you get JB in there. It's your top 21. All right, so that sounds like we're not going down the board. So What's the Heath? He's 50. That number just sucks. No, it's terrible. He was 50 fucking at Tory. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like you're getting any value no. at all. 
nothing. So, so yeah, I, I again, I think we just want to pepper that twenty to forty range anyway. Um, so we can take five I mean. of these guys. Let's see. Uh, well, Sung's thirty-five, right? So you got Morikawa twenty-five, Hideki twenty-eight, Sung thirty-five. Get your calculator out. Yep. And then you were looking at uh, Finau twenty-five. Uh, where else did you want to go? I don't know. Nowhere really. Um, Finau's what twenty-five. 25. The only other spot would go if we got a JT 20 or a Cantley 20. Um, no. What do we have left after the four? No, nothing. Nothing. So we take the four and then maybe yeah. a bomb. Yeah. Do we have anything left after the four or is the four maxed? Four is pretty much maxed. That's fine. 20. We can take, that's we can take, we can take your guys' steal. 25, 25, 28, 35. You can take your guy's steal. I know you want yeah. to bet him again. <laughs> I do. Take a top five on him. It's just as just as good. You see his history? Yeah, he's, I read he's on the strokes gain total. What is it? <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been good lately. But prior to the four years, prior to the last four years, fifth, sixth, sixth, 26, 17th, 16th, third. Yeah. He's been playing well. That's four top tens. Yeah. I was thinking about him for the players, 200 to one. Yeah. Is, is, could you picture Brendan Steele, players champion? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'd be happy with that four. I mean, and you know what? If JT was 20, I would go maybe a little bit over. I've been underexposed every week this year. I'd go JT, Morikawa, Deki Sung. like it. I like it a lot. I'd rather bet JT20 than Fino25. Okay, what about 25-16? No, I, no, I'm not betting 16. 25-18. That's cl that gets a little closer, but 18 is pushing it for for what we can fit. Yeah. I think it'd be 20. I think it has to, I think it has to be 20. Okay, cool. I'm ready for it. I'm should excited. We, uh, I... Should we do another show later in the week just to uh, update the picks? A little quick one? Yeah, maybe some DraftKings picks or something. Go live on YouTube on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. So, all right. What else we got? Nothing. I think that's it. We'll go um, We'll go live Wednesday, give a little update, maybe some top top fives or different markets and stuff. Probably some, some good markets this week with the Super Bowl happening and the elevated event, maybe a double or some shit. Um, I think I have to pick for action this week. They told me to pick a, a crossover parlay. With the game? With the football game and the in the, in the event. Any ideas on that? Which, like a player prop? Could be anything. Oh, no. I, I like the Chiefs. I do too. I'd go Chiefs, Chiefs money line. And more cow, a parlay. Like it. What's that pay? I don't know. 25 and plus 105. Let me do this real quick. Parlay calculator. More cow. Is he going to win this thing? Yeah, I think so. You do? I do, yeah. Is he going to choke, though? Did he choke farmers? No, Dude, he Farmers, he fucking was lights out. He was missing he, shorties. Yeah. Is he gonna choke uh we choked the other one? What's the what's the money line on the Chiefs? Plus one oh five. Okay, plus one oh five. Then you got, might as well take the fucking one and a half. Yeah, just for the sake of this. And then you got Morikawa plus twenty five hundred. A hundred bucks on it. What do we got? Fifty-two thirty. That's it. Yeah, fifty-two to one. There you go. Write that up. Yeah, double double up his odds. There we go. 
All right. I hope we get these odds because that would be great. Yeah, I, I like I like those four. I like uh oh, is Decky gonna be popular, you think? I don't see how he's not. All these guys I'm sure will, but yeah, you gotta beat one of the top guys. So get you gotta get I want four cracks at it. Seamus power level is nuts, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he struggled down the stretch, didn't he, in the end of the third? Yep. Good. I think he's like minus six. Good. I want everybody to lose. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, go Bo. Right. Go Bo. Outside shot. Like it. All right. See you later.